In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the MC flexion test for carpal metacarpal osteoarthritis. Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Thumb osteoarthritis is a painful and debilitating condition that affects a large proportion of the adult population with radiographic prevalence reaching 90% in both men and women by the age of 80. This condition can cause pain at the base of the thumb, progressive loss of thumb motion, weakness and decreased coordination which worsens over time. Qualitative assessment of the history, physical examination and radiographs is used to diagnose and treat thumb CMC arthritis. The location, duration, onset, frequency, intensity and quality of the pain are all under consideration. In 2017, Sela et al. conducted a comparative study to determine the best diagnostic tests for CMC OA of the thumb by comparing the results of four provocative tests with the eaton littler classification system of radiologic evaluation of the CMC joint. In their study, the MC flexion test yielded a sensitivity of 46% and a specificity of 100%. So the MC flexion test appears to be a good test to confirm the diagnosis of CMC osteoarthritis. In case of a negative test, however, it does not imply negative radiographic evidence of thumb CMC osteoarthritis. In the case of osteoarthritis, it has to be added that it remains a clinical diagnosis primarily and changes seen on radiographic imaging don't necessarily need to cause any disability or pain, which is why we give this test a moderate clinical value. To conduct the test, the patient is in sitting position and the hand is placed on a stable surface such as an examination table. The examiner then grasps the patient's wrist and hand with one hand in order to stabilize it. The patient's wrist and metacarpals remain in neutral position. With the other hand, the examiner places the metacarpal into flexion. The test is considered positive if moving the MC into flexion creates pain, even a slight painful sensation in the basal region of the thumb. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about the wrist and hand, the diagnosis that can be found in that area and how to treat these various conditions, check out our upper limb focus course on the wrist and hand with experts Thomas Mitchell and Andrew Cuff. The link is in the video description down below the like button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. For more content, head to our website physiotutors.com. And as always, this was Andreas for Physiotutors. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.